Hey everybody, Pastor Ryan, the Roving Giant here. I am at Carlton Hill. I got a few buddies and we are going to go do some camping in some wet weather. <laughs> Come along. Today is a really windy day. You may not hear me very well. Uh, you'll hear me better at camp when I have my microphone working, but I mean, you may see Al pop in. Al's brother is ahead of us on the trail. We got Bill coming later. We've got Neil coming later. We also have another new friend joining this trip. His name is Kyle. You'll meet Kyle, and uh, he's uh, gonna be on his first hammock camping trip on this, so it should be a blast. But it is right at that like 32 degree line so it can't decide if it wants to rain or if it wants to snow so we just got to be a little extra careful about trying to stay dry <laughs> arrived at camp. Alright, so I ran into an issue while I was getting things going here. And this is what I, I did. I, I want to tie out the sidewall of my tarp, but won't reach the tree that's right here. So, I'm going to show you a little knot that I did to attach some extra paracord to this in a way that it'll be easy to get. So the first step is you're pretty much putting these two lines over top of each other. You kind of see how the ends go like that. And so first I'll take one, I'll tie it, just kind of make a loop over it, and then go through that loop in the, op in the same direction of that cord. So you see how it's kind of going the same direction. The thin ones go in the same direction as the thin cord. Uh, so it kind of just does a little overhand knot on top of it. And then I'm going to take the thick cord. I'm going to do the same thing. Overhand knot right over top of the thin cord. So you see how there's two overhand knots like that? Then pull tight. You just have an extension rope. Now that I have that, I'm able to do my regular trucker's hitch that I do, that you've seen on other videos. Ta-da! So Kyle is one of the teens that is, a, one of the teens, is the teen that's coming with us. Uh, you'll meet him later after he gets out of school and comes, but we, this is his first time coming hammock camping, and uh, we decided to set him up, but he's, he's using one of my old hammocks and the tarp system, and we've kind of, well, it's like we've created the kingdom of Kyle in here. It's wide open, there's tons of space, he should be uh, all sorts of comfy in here. Yeah, <laughs> pretty neat. So something that's going to be tricky here. Uh, as you look around and you look at the trees that we have around us, there's really not much as far as uh, quick tender like uh, or kindling like pine lower pine branches and stuff like that. So we'll have to look for some small branches that are hung up in a tree or we'll just split some to make something dry.
it is. Man, I wish I got that on video. Genuine hobo pot made by a non hobo. Are you sure? <laughs> Not always. I have I have hoboed at rendezvous before, so. <laughs> we have to send it to me. I won't touch the base on my phone. You got to do your best uh, uh, southern drawl. Yeah. Y'all. Oh, y'all. Southern drawl, y'all. Hey, y'all, y'all. Take a look at my stick. It's brand new. Y'all. A beautiful stack. <laughs> yeah, right? The witch's brew. Gotta stir both things. Oh. Not anymore. Not anymore? Well, I was just wearing a sweatshirt, though. So. Yeah. I got a little cold. Check it. Not a good idea. <laughs> Everything in. Welcome, Bill. I'm glad that was not more than a mile. <laughs> no, that's a nice quick one. And you were cheating. Somebody was. I had my sled. <laughs> he had the wheelie cart. <laughs> wheelie cart was harder than Some than it the, looks. <laughs> uh, deer, deer welcome, welcome. Thank you. You're just in time for dinner. If you want to set your stuff down. Yeah, I got bread. Cool. That's what we got for food. You gonna? There you go. Got some chili and rice and good stuff. <laughs> just playing around. My brother and I had a trail camera in his backyard one time. He drove his deer carcass out there just to see what would come in the backyard. He had hawks and fox and all kinds of stuff come in there. Well, he's telling us about it. It was a week or so later there. We were coming up through there. I told the wife, "Pull over! Pull over!" <laughs> I go running out there and crawled up on my hands and knees there by the deer carcass, you know, like I was eating at it and I spun around, lifted my leg and then ran <laughs> off camera. <laughs> hey everybody, heading in for the night. Uh, it's been a nice night hanging out by the campfire, eating chili, sharing stories and uh, now we are heading in. Gonna call it a night, enjoy the the nice relatively warm winter weather and uh, yeah we'll see you in the morning uh, good morning I'm uh, just getting situated uh, <laughs> no reasonable person just jumps out of their hammock in the morning because this is where it's warm but uh, I tend to over um, how would I put it I tend to overdress first thing in the morning and then I have to take layers off afterwards, but when you when you wake up chilly, you gotta get your body temperature up. Or at least you want to. So I also know batteries. Batteries just die like crazy. These are my uh camera batteries. And batteries die crazy in the uh, really fast in the cold, so I'm gonna try to warm these batteries up a little bit. I've got a question for my fellow hammock campers out there. When you guys go to get out of your hammock in the middle of the night, do, you, do your legs cramp up too? Mine always cramp up right when I'm trying to get out, so I have to like hurry and get out before they cramp. Like right now they're cramping and I need to stop shooting this video because, ah. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> all right, so this morning for breakfast, Al has got us all the fixings for uh, breakfast sandwiches. So we'll see how it goes. Cooking them on these little uh, grilled cheese pie iron things. <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> you know what you need? A little bit of what? A stick. I need a stick. Oh, look at that. Look at huh? that. That's almost the way we wanted that to happen. Yeah. Sausage egg it's almost thing. like you did it on purpose. Yeah. Almost. Like you knew what you were doing. Holy cow. Look at that. Look at that, man. Yeah. Actually, that worked out very well. First bite. First bite. Yep. Go ahead. I need a stick to clean the rest of it. Better right. than McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it's at right there. Yeah, you get a fire bomb at your face. <laughs> Air spray bad idea. Great. <laughs> Believe it or not. That's a frozen egg. Oh yeah. Oh my. A bunch of them were. Is it that cold? Yeah, they, uh -huh. stick, <laughs> they stick together better when it's they're that frozen. Cold. <laughs> a blum 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 and the yolk goes <laughs> that <separate> so much. <laughs> A good way to start a day. A couple of breakfast sandwiches. So everything over a campfire tastes better somehow. Yep. Yep. We used to take hot dogs when we cross country skied. Hmm? We used to take hot dogs and cook them when we cross country skied. Tasted like steak. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I have a new piece of kit for you guys, a little gear review. This is something that you'll be able to get your hands on no problem, but I want to uh, let the guys tell you about this one. It's pretty, pretty neat. Hi there. We got a new tool called stick. Mm -hmm. You can eat with it, you can clean things with it, and then you can eat it again. Now I got my friend Neil over here with another stick. Well, you can pick what teeth you have with it. <laughs> you can poke a fire with it poke carcasses with it, and best of all, you can whip a pig with it. <laughs> there you have it. Get yourself a stick. <laughs> Sad to see you go. Just packing up, getting ready to head out of here, and uh, thought I'd check in one last time. Thanks for coming along. It's been another fun trip, and uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. So until then, stay curious. Mm -hmm.